Hey, what up everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you here today with the uh, big, huge announcement um, from WWE's developmental as well as uh, Gabe Spikulski and his Evolve organization. For a while now, everyone's been hearing the rumors about Gabe Spikulski, um, you know, entering in some sort of a partnership with WWE. Honestly, in my mind, I thought that he was going to be coming in and sort of joining the writing team. Uh, but it seems as if uh, Evolve is going to become, uh, you guess you can say, NXT's developmental developmental program. Uh, we're um, upcoming uh, at, a, at the next show that they're doing up in the New York area. Sami Zayn is going to be joining Evolve for two shows. Of course, uh, when Evolve first was getting launched, um, this was something that uh, Gabe and Daniel Bryan sort of came up with, where basically Evolve is a playoff on... Um, I guess you can say it. it's like MMA and wrestling mixed together, and uh, it works. This is a small amount of Evolve I've seen, they, they have really, really good matches up there. Um, you know, when um, El Generico, uh, Sami Zayn, left uh, Ring of Honor, he was uh, wrestling on the Evolve shows. I think that one of the, the things that a lot of people can say that is the only negative um, about Evolve is that the, uh, the wrestling shows, when they come out on DVD, are you know really behind the times? And, you know sometimes it takes them six months uh, to get a DVD release out. And, uh, you know a smaller indie like uh, PWG, um, you know it's almost like a month to the date, and the DVD is out at high spots, and you can get it, and you can be you know up to date on what's going on. But with Evolve, uh, you know they're so far behind. Once you hear about a good match, once it's finally released to DVD, um, it takes forever to get there. Um, I'm not really sure what Sami Zayn is going to be doing for Evolve. My guess is that he's going to be coming back uh, from his shoulder surgery. Uh, or I'm not sure if he had surgery or if he just, you know, rehabbed it and it took him time to get better. Everyone's going to remember the match that he had John Cena when he came out um, to be the mystery uh, opponent uh, for uh, John Cena's Open Challenge. It was his Monday Night Raw debut um, when he came down to the ring to do his little celebratory uh, taunt when he you know throws his arms up in the air trying to get everybody into the music everybody into cheering him on um, he threw his elbow or not his elbow but I guess his shoulder he threw his shoulder out of socket and he went, he went in there and even wrestled the match against Cena so you can tell that uh, it is a lot of balls um, on Sammy's part um, to, to get in there and be able to do that but he is one of those guys um, he's one hell of a wrestler and that's one of the things that uh, a lot of people know about him, um, and we're going to have to see how the Sami Zayn character works once he gets up to the main roster. Um, he's really gotten over uh, in uh, ROH as El Generico. He really got over um, in NXT as uh, sort of a character that's just sort of like playing off on himself. But uh, to me, honestly, the, the Sami Zayn character joined Monday Night Raw, he would kind of be like a Santino-ish kind of guy. I, I don't really know how he mixes um, with what uh, Vince has, you know, for small wimpy looking you know white dudes have not really done all that well when it comes to uh, WWE in the main roster um, being a part of Monday Night Raw and things like that but uh, we'll have to see I think this is really cool news uh, that Sammy's gonna be doing this independent show for Evolve be funny if they put him into uh, a championship match because I'm pretty sure the Evolve champion is uh, the, the artist formerly known as Drew McIntyre now known as Drew Galloway uh, who is a big part of TNA and I guess that would be NXT versus TNA uh, for Evolve. Kind of weird.